Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this tutorial, we're going to take a bit of a deeper look at the size of operator, which we've seen before, but we're going to um, see like uh, an interesting use for that. So just, just to remind you, if we create a variable like this, let's say int value equals 34, we can do this, see out size of value handler. And if we run this program, might have to build it. Let's go to project, build project, and let's run that. So um, we get the number of bytes, um, and each byte is eight bits, remember, that this, this variable takes up. And we can also do size of int. So let's try that. And that does exactly the same, it gives us the size of this type. This is just an unused variable warning here because I'm not using value now in my program. Size of is actually an operator like the put to operator or like the plus symbol. It looks like a um, method, uh, sorry, a function call or a method. Yeah, it looks like a function call and we're going to see functions and subroutines later on. But it's not, it's actually um, an operator. Uh, so one, one thing that I wanted to show you here was that you can use that this with arrays. Let's say we've got an array, um, let's get rid of this and let's say int um, values equals, and let's just have an array of values here. So I'm going to say, um, I'm going to put some values in there, let's type the semicolon first and um, just some random values. We can iterate over that with a for loop. So we can say int i equals naught i less than, um, in this case, it's going to be less than four because there are four values here, i plus plus. And we can say c out and um, values and i. Let's just output an endler there. Or in fact, we could just put flush and let's just have some space there to get it all on one line. And I'll put um, an endler after that uh, just to, well, just to flush the buffer, but actually it's, it's not necessary here because uh, when the program ends, the buff buffer's gonna be flushed anyway, I imagine. So um, I've got some problem with flush there. I don't quite know what I did wrong. I've done something wrong. Let's just save this and try building it. Have I done something really stupid? Oh, um, it's complaining that um, scalar object values requires one element in initializer. <laughs> I forgot to put the brackets on the array here. Very silly. There we go. Sorry about that. So let's go to project, build project. And yes, now we can run this. So we get four, seven, three, four. Now, instead of um, saying less than i, we can use size of here uh, to find out how many elements are in the array. Let's do size of values. Um, so size size of values endler. Now, if we if we run this, then we get sixteen. So this takes up 16 bytes because each int is four bytes and we've got four ints. And we can also do C out size of int because we've, we've got ints in our array, so we're interested in that. And if we run this, we see that we get, of course, four as we've just seen. So if we divide the total size of the array by the size of the elements that are in it, then we're going to get the number of elements in the array. So instead of having four here, we can say size of values divide by size of int. So divide by is this forward slash sign in C++ and most programming languages. Um, and if we run that now, then it works exactly as before. Not sure what the warning is here. It's saying we're, we're comparing um, signed and unsigned integer expressions. Um, that's that's because size of is is actually um, returning a um, a unsigned int, and here we're comparing this. This is a, a signed int by default with an unsigned value here. So what we can do to fix that warning is just put in unsigned int there, 
and if we build that now the warning will go away and it works just as before so um, yeah not all compilers give you that warning and there's nothing really wrong with um, comparing a signed and unsigned value as far as I can see but um, I got that warning here so we, we fixed it unsigned you'll recall means just that the value can't be negative so an unsigned int can't be negative okay that's it for this tutorial um, it's worth practicing this just uh, declare an array um, if you really want to challenge make it a 2d array and uh, instead of hard coding the actual um, index here the actual uh, sorry the number of elements in the array use size of to get it in your loops so 2d array you can do this as well but it's going to be um, a bit challenging you can have a go at that if you're feeling ambitious otherwise try a 1d array so that's it for this tutorial and until next time Happy coding. <laughs>